which region iop can you tell me anterior maxilla anterior maxilla which teeth are we seeing one 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 two one 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 so this must be one one two one two one two one two one two one three so <coughs> what are we looking at here strikingly yeah okay. so more likely to be uh okay. it's uh, more likely to be a uh, two three yes. right yes. so um yeah can we discuss the landmarks incisive foramen incisive foramen again okay this is your incisive foramen maxillary suture so make it out very clearly but should be somewhere here yeah <coughs> floor of maxillary sinus where should it be some yeah you're right this is the floor of maxillary sinus inverted y okay brilliant so that's the same floor of the maxillary sinus and floor of the nasal floor nasal fossa i think the rest of the ones are kind of blurred somewhere here this area is a little bit blurred probably having the nasal septum yeah so uh, this area looks radio la radio lucent mm -hmm. so what could this area be lateral fossa lateral fossa very good so this <coughs> is the lateral fossa okay so right so now let's go to the uh, tooth of interest so what is our tooth of interest is the tooth tree yes so what do we see around the tooth tree so can we if we were to look at the boundaries of the radius and see that is where it is mm -hmm. yeah all right so can we tell can you tell me more about this is it well defined no. Really. The radio opacity is well defined. Radio <laughs> yeah, that's, what is this? This is the, the yeah the, the crown, crown. The exactly that's the crown surrounding neck of the tooth. Cr probably surrounding the neck of the tooth because this is on that we can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what could the um, radiolucency be? Yeah, can you tell me what could the radiolucency be? Follicular cyst. cyst, also called as dentigerous cyst. cyst. Very good. So, but when do you decide to call it as a dentigerous cyst, or when normal would you follicle. say that it's a normal follicle? I think. Okay. When do we say that it's a normal follicle? Um. How, how do we know for sure that this is a dentigerous cyst or this is a normal follicle? The lateral mm -hmm. border of the follicle should be more than two point five to three from the crown 2.5 to 3 and, and, and oh, okay so that means we're talking about this distance right yes. that means the uh, radiolucency surrounding the tooth should not be more than 3 2.5 to 3 how, how come are we are we very sure about this number yeah according to according to reference so what is it here Okay, we have the reference here, reference in uh, uh, White and Farrell. Yeah, anything more than 5 mm, mm. if it is more than 5 mm, is definitely a dentigerous. Okay, so anything less than that should be considered as a normal follicle. dental follicle surrounding any impacted tooth. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So, what is our diagnosis now? Follicularis. It, you think think it's a follicular cyst? No, it's a no. Normal, then normal dental. Oh, yeah, it's not a dentigerous yeah. cyst. Not it's big enough. just normal not big follicle. enough. It's just a normal dental follicle. That's all. It's not a cyst, right? So this is just a normal dental follicle. Okay, that that's about it about this radiograph. Now how about the yeah? How about so one? Is there any resorption of the? Okay, now that's a very interesting question we would not be able to make out based on this radiograph if there is a resorption with the central incisor and the lateral incisor or the central incisor root or how close it is what would we have to do if we were to check cbct okay <laughs> can we can we look at a uh, 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 simpler option um, uh, object localization point. yes you do object localization with the help of a shift I technique yes, yes. So yeah exactly same lingual opposite buckle so what would we do in case 
and we take two radiographs one this could be your first radiograph you take the second radiograph with a different angulation probably a mesial mm -hmm. angulation and you would see that the canine shifts that will also help you determine the location of the canine as well as it will tell you how close it is to the tooth if that is not helping then cbct is your choice